Hi, this is Tai Chi, and today we're in Hilton Head, South Carolina, where recently I had an opportunity to meet up with my old friend Sasha Strunas. Hello, Banke, plays some awesome gypsy jazz and that's a kind of a style that is very happy it it's uh, as I jokingly say gives you extra shot of dopamine <laughs> Remind me how we met. We met in Cincinnati. We met in Cincinnati, uh, sort of by accident. Uh, I was I was playing I was playing with an, uh, in a swing band with a with a an elderly guy who said, "Well, um, there's a Russian singer. Uh, her name is Tatiana. She's gonna be she's gonna be coming tomorrow night to sing with us." That's right. And I met him at like a at the Thomas the Train Fair, and he was playing like with three other guys. Yeah. And he was really old. And he said, "Come by," and I came. I came, and there was. And he said, "Yeah, you, you." Yeah. So. You start speaking. Uh, so, uh, we, we we were sitting there, and um, I was think I was thinking, "Gosh, this lady looks really from." First, we established that we are from the former, not Russia, <laughs> uh, former Yugoslavia. Then, then I thought, this lady looks really familiar. So I, I went to Matt, uh, um, Taichi's husband, I said, there was a, gosh, there was a lady, she was like super famous. And he was already, I guess, he had that question asked many, many, many times. He said, you mean like Tai Chi? I said, yeah, is that her? He goes, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> so that's how we met. You have an amazing story of how during the, your high school, you were playing guitar, and it, it just so happens that one of my producers from that time was Sasha's um, classmate, right? Schoolmate. Oh, good friend. He was. Good friend. Yeah. Yes. And so the two of them uh, got to the. It was like a talent show, right? Yeah. Well, uh, we we met. I remember we met on several several occasions. Uh, he was he was going to the electrical engineering school. I just got back from the military, and I was playing in bands. And I remember playing in one of one of the student clubs. We played Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing. We played like note for note, both of us. That was a little while ago. It was a lot of fun. And then what happened? Uh, well, w what happened is uh, that that war thing. We kind of split apart, and uh, I I came overseas, uh, and then. Uh, started working in, uh, in my in my profession I kept kept this going this kept me somewhat sane still yeah. still and doing it yeah. almost full time so this friend went to have a really amazing successful yeah. career as a guitarist so and then as a producer and arranger and you went to medical school because your 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 father said yeah well kind of motivated me motivated you <laughs> And the reason why I'm bringing this up because now you you're, you're working as in your profession as a, as a medical psychiatrist. It's a, it's a very nice um, profession. Yeah, well, yes. Can't complain. Yes, and, and but at the same time you are doing what your passion is. And so many people, you know, like give it up. They go to do their day job and then they give up their passion. And so now yeah. you're living the life of your dreams. I'm I'm living the life. Yes. Living la vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> so Sasha plays gypsy jazz, and we played the yes. jazz corner, amazing. With yeah, it was it was a great it was a great concert we played together with uh, French accordionist Frederic Gomez, who is um, visiting the United States for the first time. The guy's pretty well known in, in these these circles, and uh, it was just a great concert. 
Yes. Great concept. And so just tell us a little bit about Gypsy Jazz. Where does it come from? Well, Gypsy, gypsy Jazz, which almost sounds like a misnomer, is uh, a combination when European gypsies heard uh, uh, after First World War, predominantly black American musicians who were a member of yours military stationed in France. So they started kind of imitating um, uh, and trying to play the jazz tunes their way. So they, they gave that lyrical sensitivity and uh, European melody, gypsy melody to jazz. And it's wonderful, wonderful music. Most of people, you know, when you say gypsy jazz, they think of Chocolat and Johnny Depp. You know, it's kind of, kind of, kind of there, right? It has the same flavor. Yeah, well, he, he, he lives there. He, he apparently plays gypsy jazz from what I'm hearing. Jo Johnny Depp? Yeah, he plays gypsy guitar. Oh, wow. Now you live in Savannah, Georgia? I live in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. And it's a beautiful city. Great to visit. Just ask for Sasha. Everybody knows <laughs> me here. For better or worse. And one last thing. Let's see if you can recognize this song. time visiting with Sasha and uh, talking about life, telling jokes, and playing some great songs. So here's a challenge for you. This week, put some music on, or get that guitar that you put in a corner and got about, or get together with your friends, or I don't know, get in your car and sing. Sing. And let the music carry out your stress, your worry, pain, fear, whatever, whatever it is that's bogging you down. After all, music is free. You don't need a prescription for it, and it's a great antidepressant and a relaxant. So sing, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>